Hi, and welcome back to a new video of Hugo Some Guy, Far From Average. Last video was um, an exposition where we could see these magnificent um, minerals, and uh, here you can see it's looking like uh, DNA, crazy what nature does, and uh, this mineral, look at jade, could be um, transmutated um, algae, that uh, got transmutated, now it's jade. Uh, last chat with my friend uh, Paul Spode, we were talking about this. Um, I'm gonna show you this right now. It's basically three circles. I don't think nature done that. I think it's um, ancient carving. Recent or old, I'm not sure, but look at these three circles little bit like make us think of our ancestors right there okay so the topic of today will be geology in around Paris and its surroundings so I have made a couple files files and um, first we're going to talk about the terrain the um, the landscape right so let's enjoy these little clips together. The Paris Bassin. And uh, it's from the... Um, this is the um, so-called millions of years theory. But the layers are in French right there. So talking about Dogger land. We're talking about more land. And I think I made videos before I talk about it. I think all this is not millions of years old, but could be shrinked into thousands of years. Now, we can see that they are explaining to us what is all these periods. I will give the article in the description, so you can check for yourself. Um, I want to get onto my pictures. From the Oligocene to Eocene. We can see that um, in the Paris surroundings you have coral reef on the limestone with different uh, organic. And we are talking about the Stampian period, um, that's what gave the forest of uh, Fontainebleau in, um, in the clo uh, south of Paris. Uh, by the way, my friend uh, Stone Jean uh, showed me this uh, website and he does amazing work there. I suggest you to check his uh, blog spot. I'm going to share it. So this is just a little slideshow for you. you can come back, pause, go to the article. This is um, patrimoine, it means like uh, national treasure. And this is a stone gene blog spot and he knows all the location of all these magnificent rocks in uh, Fontainebleau. So Bruno Testi it is, is a legend in the game. I respect uh, his work a lot. And um, here is another part of the article showing fossils. Okay, guys, I think you I gave a bit of information. And now, where we go, on, where are we about to do? Without further ado, we'll go to the files. So, I think to start, it will be interesting to show you the dolmen I just showed you, right? So let's begin by that, and before the images, let's go into the movie. So enjoy, and I will speak to you after. I found one. Yeah. So here, my friends, we are on this dolmen pretty big it's 
pretty huge. And you got some interesting parts I'm going to show you. So let's enjoy this beautiful, beautiful rock in this amazing forest. Nice nub, pardon my French, but yeah. Hello. You can see a line here. And if we go on the top, we can see the sheer scale of this one and this knob. Rather impressive place, and I like my new camera. We have this hole. Pretty cool. So this is the, the bottle. And uh, there is two. There is this one and this one, so could be one also here, one another, so three. So that's an ancient dolmen, but with cataclysmic events, it looks like a bit destroyed. But that's the third rock, one rock and another one, three. So that's a dolmen. It counts. Yo, there was some guy in the cut. Not that deep, but it um, must be in here. So that's a hole. It's just, yeah, that's a hole. And uh, notice this circles in the rock
This is definitely what I like to see in the forest. It's definitely enjoyable thing and totally free to visit. Over the hole, there is two bugs supporting the big one, but that crumbled. And the surroundings is just like mm, pretty, pretty forest, don't you think?
Unitator Dolmen So that was a pretty cool site And uh, I really enjoyed visiting this place And now it's over with But I will come back to relax around here because it's a nice place Nobody in the forest It's absolutely amazing Good place Camera is not too bad <laughs> sometimes, but it's a rugged one, it's strong. Magical forest. Beautiful. <laughs> Private property. Hunting. Slow motion. photos are actually decent
Probably the same area, some very odd dolmen, uh, sorry, uh, just a piece of geology, but I think it's a rad one. So I have some videos also, how many videos? Okay. So we will play this first, and after um, the picture, and I think it's a quite interesting one. We do live and direct, okay, let's go. <laughs> he looks like a dog or something. A uh, lion. <laughs> Pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. Pretty 
pretty crazy indeed. There is another fancy rock and I call this one the bubbly lion. Somehow with a you know, it made me think of a lion. And um and yeah. Probably isn't, but I explain that you know, like all of this, like and these strange balls. So, yeah, guys, you always find some interesting stuff. So, when you put it like this. I, I see the nose, one eye, what's left of it, the mouth, but uh, of course it's not, but it makes me think of that. Okay, and here you can see it looks like a lion. You go some guy exploring. Very strange. Yeah, I think this um, this one is uh, rather interesting. I I've been to this place a couple of time and every time I just try to look in details even though next time I think I will try to capture more macro photography and it's not the only one I've seen in the area of this sh this sort of geology broken face bubbly lion <laughs>
and one day I was walking uh, actually riding my bicycle to a place and um, I f I crossed upon this similar right different color different Yeah, it was just a wasp or a bee. <laughs> I felt that. As you can as you can see here is the sun. And right now is the moon. So, what's next? I think uh, we can go to Medon. Medon, Medon, Medon is an interesting place. I don't know if you know, uh, if to see, to locate you where we at. Look at that. This existed, it was called a Mexican villa. And now it's destroyed. Look at the zeppelin here. Alright. So, this is the rock I was looking for. This is one of the only dolmens around Paris. So, I was actively looking for it. And I uh, found it easily. And these are... They just bring a couple rocks. And they erected a fake megalith. Quite funny. Uh, some... Maybe some... Uh, the last druids of France or something. Look at this cedar. And, uh, and uh, yeah, like, cool, 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 cool place. So let's um, see together the area and, um, and uh, start maybe by a little movie. See you in a bit. <laughs> Some guy made all of this with nails and uh, it's very strong. Some old guy, maybe a druid, and he made this and he left it open somehow and somehow. he put some cross here and somebody destroyed it. 
it was a cross and uh, yeah what an impressive work from an old man you know all is uh, nailed yeah very interesting and of course the forest is beautiful this place is called the chapelle of the open sky chapelle some old man made all of this it's pretty rad okay so we found maybe that can be a roman aqueduct and uh, yeah guys piece of it nice Region. I love Paris and its surroundings, but I never really go to Paris anymore. But yeah. Still remains. Yeah, this type of like little wall. Ça va ou quoi Qu'est-ce qu'il fait Hop là So we are at the place of the Nia. It's right there. Yeah, don't destroy this this rock. You will go against the law. We have some TP for tonight. We know where I know where to sleep now. Perfect. And I'm going to show you this place. So here, this is not fake. This is real stuff. And we don't really know how deep it is. So, I don't really see any flat surface, but nevertheless, very interesting, could be petrified wood. Ten kilometers away, I'm fucked up. <laughs> Even my bike is tired. 92. 92 connection. <laughs> Russia is never ever so Eh ben moi en tout cas, moi je suis allé. Regarde maintenant. Old hundred, uh, very cool deal. We all click. Now we arrive at a fountain, an église. Yeah, there's a little bit of music. Very hard on YouTube uh, not to get copyright and, uh, problems. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty high, but now more like rain. This is a piece of wood. Are you going to understand why do I show you this? Yeah.
can become a doorman transmutated today we're gonna visit some dolmens that was made um, that was uh, in, in fact um, put together by some druids end of the 90s 1960 I think and um, they put three dolmens and one particularly particularly interesting so yeah you go some guy for a new video in the nature in France right now in uh, the west side of Paris but it's mostly green like you never expect how green is it so yeah new video of Yugo some guy catch you later okay so at least we have a big tree here they say it's a uh, Remarkable tree. But all this uh, all this place is um, fictitious, so this is f cement, you know, like the Butte de Chaumont in Paris, it's like a fake. I thought that it was a petrified tree, like that, but it's not. It's fake megaliths. Now, why do they do this? I don't know. On a picture, it looks like it's some petrified um, tree, even. Huh? This was maybe a reference to that. So, pretty interesting. But you see, uh, the um, the rock is like fake. But it's not. It's not the fact. This is not fake. I mean. Is put together and it was br it was brung by these guys end of the 90s 60s I don't know but um, they bring all these rocks this is not cement this is like real real rock but this is this is actually fake you know and um, yeah so we have fake dolmens put back together seriously the most interesting part of this site must be the tree like really because I'm a bit disappointed but it's okay so now you think it's a dolmen blah blah now it's fake site but this is quite let's call it a megalith this block this one too but this is a fake megalith, first time I see one, so yeah. You go some guy around Paris, west of Paris. But uh, yeah. Maybe this place is special and all. Nothing to see here, really. Just, uh, I think, um, fake megaliths, but this is real stone, and this one is uh, fake. But uh, we have beautiful uh, hoke, I think. So yeah, it's a short video, guys. I have nothing else to show you. Like, what is this? It's a fake, fake, fake stuff also. I have stuff to show. <laughs> they bring everything here. This is the roots. Alright. And we are in the forest of Meudon.
We are in the south of France. No, I'm joking. This is Paris surroundings. And uh, yeah, it's a lake. And over there you have a beach. I shit you not. It's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty nice. It's my bike. Follow me this far. Just my my camera very rusty. Still work though. So I bring you to some more interesting places. With here some type of waterway. And uh, here you have also one. And I think the highlights of this place is not the, this bench, but in fact like a fountain. Nice trees here. Bonjour. And here we have the fountain. Vous allez prendre de l'eau de la non. fontaine Vous voulez prendre de l'eau de la fontaine euh, de, Ah non, je, euh, oui, j'en ai déjà pris de l'eau. Elle est buvable elle, elle est potable. Elle, elle est potable. Hein. Vous avez pris, vous Non. Mais ah, vous y allez, hein Faut y aller, hein Ah oui, là, je veux dire, il euh, n'y a pas de problème. Je, je Et c'est comme, comme l'eau du robinet ou c'est différent ah, oui, oui, mais je peux très bien, même devant vous, aller euh, chercher de l'eau et le boire. Euh, oui, oui. Et je ne vais pas tomber dans les pommes. Ouais. <rire> mais euh, l'eau... Tu peux boire de l'eau. Non, mais l'eau, c'est comme l'eau du robinet ou c'est... Euh... Comment C'est comme l'eau du robinet ou c'est... Euh... So the woman told me that uh, it's very drinkable water and it's source water so it's better than tap water so I'm definitely gonna fill up my bottle with this water and try it on and um, what else? nothing, this is my bikey and uh, here we have some stuff I don't really know what's up there Uh, it's forbidden to go There are some houses there Oh, oh, oh What is there? We don't know It works I get a new one soon Enjoy This stuff so the woman told me that the water is very drinkable. It's like source, water source. So let's entrance this. Pretty big block. I don't think it's that ancient, but it's probably after Christ, definitely 13 something mm -hmm. that's the inscription we find and I just filled up some water with it and it's been repaired but the first blocks are big like that I don't know what to think about this but uh, pretty cool, pretty cool fountain in the 92 area. Yeah.
nice stuff guys beautiful out here welcome to the archaeological place of Pierre Omoine monk rock to monk menhir the low punish of prison the mutilators and destroyers of this monument so be aware here we have a little there's a lot of them the water was very controlled and then another one here we have like uh, teepees so I know where to sleep tonight that's very good and uh, here we have it so no flat surface I checked it no flat surface but some definitely interesting characters characteristic um, so we can see that we don't really know how deep it is could be a lot underneath and this one is not a fake it's a real one compared to the previous one but um, yeah let's check it out it's got nice curves wow nice and uh, interesting manier let's take a little little selfie with it and uh, yeah cool weathering some dots and everything and uh, yeah very very interesting specimen with some marks here yes guys very cool one indeed very cool one indeed let's take some more details I need to get home somehow and I don't have lights on my bike but uh, that's the beautiful baby we have and trust me it was worth it because in the area of Paris this is rare this is a rarity so I understand why is a major major interesting specimen all right guys i mean i will come back there definitely you know it's a great area i don't think i find much around here but definitely cool cool um cool area so see you around guys you go some guy Every day a different archaeological site if I can. So that was it for today. We can see the. He could have been flat at some time, and the weathering makes it like this. Definitely, probably petrified wood. We don't know. And that's it for today. Meudon was pretty interesting um, indeed. So let's uh, quickly see the picture that we have. Uh, that's a witch, right? On the on the broom. Mm. 
we know from a fact that in the um, in um, in Versailles there were some stuff older than the Romans I'm sure even that we told it's the Roman I think this type of bricks are could be older and um, you have like tunnels complex from all around the surroundings of Paris to Lutetia which was Paris and you have a lot of these canals for water sometimes underground tunnels you know so very interesting
Bad Russians. <laughs> you can listen to my videos on YouTube. I speak about archaeology. You can see me on YouTube and listen to my SoundCloud podcast. I'm right here in a forest in Paris. You can listen, there's no one here. Just me and you, baby. C'est bien, Aloha. Ouais, carrément. Même ça, tu vois, regardez loi. Ça, regarde, tu vois ça. On se demande si c'est naturel ou pas. Hein. Ce trou là. Ah oui, c'est naturel. Hein. Bah, écoute, mais t'as des feuilles ou pas Il y a des trucs ouais. en fait. Éloi Éloi mon compagnon Il y a un précipice Il n'y a rien Je t'en quoi. Là, tu, tu fais dans là, tu te salis, t'es là, c'est caca. Ah, ouais, t'es là. Look all these rocks. Qu'est-ce que c'est ça C'est la formation euh, de l'arbre qui a épousé la roche. Ah, merci. Ça ah, rigole. Ah. Eloane, on nique la vidéo. Je fais une petite vidéo HD, tu connais. Hop là, regardez, petite, petite rivière. Les, on est à la moitié des cimes parce qu'on est en altitude. Voilà. Et là, c'est notre vue, euh, franchement, euh, pas mal, quoi. Oh là. Pas mal du tout, hein, la vue, hein, les enfants. That cat was wild.
C'est le Seigneur des Anneaux ici. Ouais. Hello. Hello. Film. Ah, il est gros, hein. C'est un gros chat, hein. Ouais. Un gros chat sauvage, comme vous pouvez le constater. On est en pleine forêt. Ouais. En pleine forêt. Euh... Oh. Loin de toute habitation. Et euh, nous avons trouvé ce magnifique chat. Oh, c'est beau, toi. Cool. Mais alors, on a assez bonne santé. Ouais. Et qui se laisse euh, bien faire. Habituellement, ce chat se laisse pas trop faire, c'est des chats sauvages. Ouais. Ah, Hugo, reporter avec moi. Ouais. J'ai bien filmé là. Il a un peu des tics ou des trucs. Ouais, tu sais, il a des trucs dans, la, dans le corps. Et ça va, se passe dans le touche, hein, que ça va te choper. Et peur. <rire> il est gros quand même hein. Ouais c'est tu sais, Il te griffe, c'est un puma tu sais. C'est un puma tu sais. On dirait pas un Maine Coon, on dirait un chat qui a été euh, qui a évolué, tu sais, vu qu'il est dans la nature, ah, ses grosses pattes et tout. Ouais. Elle est une chic. Ah c'est une chic. Ouais, c'est une chic que t'as mon pépère hein. Ouais ça lui suit ça. Regarde tes mains, tu sais que t'es pas des chics dans les mains un peu. Ouais non c'est bon les mains, ça va pas nous faire. Elle a une chic en dessous oh, aussi. Il a une bonne tête de tigre hein, quand même. Ouais. Hein. Ah il a, une, il a une juste là là sur l'oreille. Ouais dans le cou aussi. Tic -tic. Tic -tic -tic. Il veut qu'on lui enlève peut-être. Il enlève avec les mains. Faut lui enlever avec les mains. Non jamais tu fais ça, ça va lui donner la maladie de Lime après. Ouais. Ah je l'embête. Oh. Je t'embête toi. Ah, je t'embête. J'aime trop les chats. So no, il, il est mystique, il est hein, mystique hein. Et en, entre en la vidéo, non, tu peux te prendre. Je te demande une belle photo par créer. Non, parce que ça va me perturber. Ah. T'as pris le knowing, man. Ah. Ouais, t'inquiète. Look at this cat. T'as vu comment je l'ai repéré direct Ouais. Ah, il est trop content, putain! Mais ça fait longtemps qu'il a aïe, pas joué! Aïe, 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 aïe! Mais je pense que ça fait trop longtemps qu'il a pas joué! Tu là, il m'a un peu griffé, c'est parce que tu me touches le ventre! <rire> ah, 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 lui, il va pas se retenir, hein! Ouais! Ah, il est trop content, putain, c'est rare de voir un chat comme ça, tu sais! Ouais! Je pourrais dormir ici, tu sais. Non, je continue, t'inquiète. Mmh. Alors, mon chat. Il se gratte, il en a marre. Il est touché. Tu t'appelles comment Comment on l'appelle Griffon. Mais on l'appelle Griffon. Ouais. Un gros chat. Oh du coup il se bat. That was not nice man. Why did he do that? Oh my god, I don't know. But so, I don't know, in this forest there were some rocks. Um, interesting, let's go quickly. The video is almost finished. This was like two years ago I reckon.
I would say could be magnetism somehow I don't know uh, this is perfect circle I don't know what to think Alors mon ami, comment peux-tu Qu'est-ce qu'il y a Quoi 
Back, back, backing. Go, 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 shoot. So funny, he was barking. Il se fait ou quoi? Parce que j'ai entendu les chiens. Allez, allez, fuis, dégage. Funny guy. So it's not so interesting, but um, I was in trap and I saw like this big bricks and I was thinking it's probably older than we told. Look at that. And um, people used to jump here, used to call hot day. Pretty cool. So. It's about it, what I wanted to show you today, because I don't want to get off topic. It was a cool geological um, video, so I think we have seen the most. I'm going to make sure in one instance. Yeah. And um, and let's go see. So I see some. This is nice place. I don't know that I don't own this picture, so I'm not gonna share. But this is Lallée Couvert de Trapierre, a tree chateau, called Dolmens. Go check on the internet. Um, so for the geological video, we done this file. This file this file this file and this file so um, I will share this PDF is in French but I will share it I will share the article thank you for watching um, that was cool to do this video uh, we've done it in like 1 hour 20 cool and um, thank you for subscribing, thank you for support. It's very hard uh, to get my stuff out there. But I also get a lot of reviews saying to me that my job is clean and, and um, I shouldn't persevere, you know. So that's what I'm trying to do. Take care and I will see you on the next one. Hasta la vista. You were some guy.